uh, so the next speaker is actually from the other pendulum side. Yeah? So now <laughs> it's Professor Xu Lei, uh, who is actually a member of this academy, but he's also a fellow of IEEE and of the National International Association of Pattern Recognition. Um, he is one of the most distinguished, uh, well-known international figures in machine learning, uh, already pre-neural and now neural machine learning. Um, uh, Chile received um, his PhD from Tsinghua University, then uh, worked at Beida, Peking University for a number of years and at several international universities. For a very long time, he was professor and lab leader at the Chinese University in Hong Kong. And now he's uh, uh, actually retired from there, but still very active at Shanghai, at the Shanghai Jiao Tong University. Uh, for instance, not only as professor, but also as chief scientist of the AI Institute of this very well-known university in Shanghai. And uh, he has worked on, on different uh, models uh, in, in learning, also on model mixing and classification. And now he is talking to us about a very exciting subfield of deep learning, uh, deep bidirectional learning, and he's trying to extend it to deep bidirectional intelligence. Have you? Yeah, okay. Thank you very much for the introduction. Also, I would like to thank Ashim to invite me to here, give me a chance here. Actually, when I become the member of the academy in the 03, it's the first time I can have a chance to attend this annual meeting. My talk will be bi-directional learning. Uh, before I really go to the topic, I need maybe say something about my new university, and uh, especially uh, in Shanghai, uh, there is a, a new national laboratory called the Zhangjiang National Laboratory, like American New Lawrence or those laboratory. There is five institutes. One institute is on brain and intelligent science. This is new. Uh, have uh, many new facility, and uh, will come cooperation with uh, all over the world scientists, especially from European country. I'm the director of the neural computing research center here, there. So later, if we have a chance, we may discuss the possibility of uh, cooperations. That's my new job. Also, one of my new jobs is uh, in the Shanghai Jiao Tong University. There is the established uh, AI Research Institute. I will, I'm there will be chief scientist. It's my duty there. Uh, it's uh, very good. The first two speakers already mentioned the artificial, introduced a lot about uh, artificial intelligence. I try to summarize my thinking of uh, AI uh, simply from the three aspects. Uh, one is uh, we need uh, cognition and the recognition, especially speech, we try to recognize, and we recognize face. Uh, past decade, many achievement is made here. And uh, recent uh, several years, we have many examples to generate the face, try to change from one face to other face. All this kind of activity, I try to summarize into some case of uh, you try to build some specific dependence between two pattern specific. It's uh, later I will talk about the third one. Uh, it's about uh, symbolic thinking. Uh, symbolic thinking is more high level. It's abstract thinking. The difference from this one and this one is uh, here we're talking about uh, the association between very specific things, very specific image. But here we have abstraction, abstraction into concept. Then you cover, one concept covers 
a number of many such similar things. So this is uh, maybe later, uh, earlier called a lower. This is a lower intelligence. Here is a higher intelligence. Also, somehow, this is a related uh, symbolic. This is a related, uh, this too, related sub-symbolic. Uh, later, I will show this uh, two, so, uh, this three task. This way is uh, basically one direction from outside, go to inside. And uh, this uh, two, both is uh, on the inside, try to think and then go outside. So that is uh, bidirectional. This two part is based on this, supported on this. Decades of the AI developed, why not so successful, is really put too much attention on here. But here is the low attention. So now, last decade, attention gets ready for here. We have success. Then it's laid the foundation for later development on this two part. Actually, it's also interesting. Uh, European, you are the Western world. This is more sophisticated on symbolic thinking. But for Chinese, Chinese language is uh, this kind of character, this kind of like. It's a more we thinking style. It's more like this uh, image thinking. So just like a uh, two part is complementary, now need some of how many integrations. Now I start from, also many people know the deep learning, you try to simply, you mapping one pattern into one label or symbol. That is called a recognition. This mapping is implemented by so-called neural net or CNN or RNN, whatsoever. Then this way become very successful for face recognition for speech. Actually, you can regard this is a special case. Although they only have this direction, but this direction, you have already correspondence between each label and the pattern. It's uh, assumed here. So that is a degenerate case, one of the degenerate case. Also, the second speaker already mentioned like a generated image. You use generative model, generated image. You have some uh, prior distribution. Then you try to generate, maybe recently, uh, f five years ago, use GAN to have make this very successful. Actually, you also can thinking, this is also bidirectional. This directional, put this and you know this. You need to have uh, this uh, probability inverse. This is a bias inverse. It's assumed there. You ha this is a difficult to computation. So that's why in the middle of 90, Jeffrey Hinton and also I myself, we, Jeffrey Hinton tried to use uh, some of approximation to learn this bias, so-called variational learning or horse mode learning. I also later will mention develop into the so-called bias in yang learning to handle this kind of uh, things. It's a bidirectional learning. So put those uh, two directions together, you will find all those uh, intelligent things from my this kind of view. You can have a bidirectional. This direction of supporting thinking, reasoning, and uh, problem solving, re inference this path. They, they, you get the data, acquiring data, you do abstraction, then you do accumulation, then you do some kind of uh, here, your decision making or choose something, then you verify. You have uh, five steps. This is uh, very interesting, it's uh, quite a coincidence to the ancient Chinese philosophy called the yin yang, five actions. This one, I actually in the, this year, from pattern recognition point of view, Hoff transform, I summarize this uh, five action, it's exactly the same as this. I don't have time to go deep about this. 
Then from this, you will see, then now we go back to see the history, bi-directional. Bi First bi-directional, you can think the so-called autoencoder. Autoencoder is a neural net. You go through this, then you go same picture. But if this is the same structure, you go by in this way, you will find exactly it's bi-directionally. Uh, recent, many, recent year, many people studied this, actually come from this. This original one, this part have this part, only architecture is same, no other relation. But in the, this year, in 91, I try to like, flip this one to merge, become this, propose the so-called Elmiser. Elmiser is some kind of not only have this bidirectional. Also, you have a shortcut. You have a shortcut to go to here, and also this to go to here. This kind of one, uh, it's uh, interesting. Jeffrey Hinton, when he proposed a hormone machine, he didn't have this kind of uh, this uh, weight. They are different weight. But uh, here, my one have the same. In 1906, his one in science, he imposed this already. But also in the learning rule, just the one layer, one layer at that time, we can find this uh, learning, try to find this uh, direction, this uh, temperature direction. Also Hinton's learning rule by this year, one layer, it's basically the same. Only I have another addition of this layer. It's made because this learning more stable, especially small sample size. Hinton did more, have uh, one layer, two layers, three layers. That time I had the computing ability is too slow. That time maybe uh, this day we only one hour, that time we need one year, more than one year to compute. But uh, Hinton, this, he already found one layer, one layer go, then have a different uh, temperature. You have a form of the concept. Then later, this year, in Google, he saw the cut. He saw the face continue doing like this way. Actually, this is not really new. All those concepts come from this two Nobel Prize winner, this year's result called the Feature Detection Theory. And uh, in my that paper, I did uh, just one layer, but I do predict, predict if in high layer, it will develop some concept like uh, later they developed. Here I also predict some of uh, other function like uh, to this associated memory that time called, also you call imagination. You can top down imagination and attention. And uh, also you can both side unsupervised, supervised go this. Actually Jeffrey Hinton, although also recent deep learning, they indeed bottom up, unsupervised and top down, supervised. This one, that time also like this. Uh, unfortunately, that time because no big data, no supercomputing abilities, so I only running for one layer once. That is, uh, but a recent year, uh, my student, tried uh, all those kind of earlier predictions, and the funds, it works, it's, uh, it's works. Actually, I have some uh, cooperation with Michael Jordan and Hinton that time, so we are friends. I gave Jeffrey Hinton, in 91, he invited me, invited me to visit Boston University. I did give him this, my manuscript about this paper. And, uh, I, I also run in NIPS, in, I, in US at that time, I, 22, 20, uh, 92, 95, every year I have one paper there. But actually, before I go to US, I, uh, out of China, I go to Europe, I get come to Europe, go to Finland. I stay the Kohona and the LG Oya group for one and a half years. Then I go to Canada. And, uh, because time, I cannot show how later recently we saw all the earlier, this, uh, 
what I mentioned, uh, those potential function, it works. It's especially summarized, it uh, can have better performance, even compared with the current UNET or those uh, currently standard NET in small size of a small sample size and uh, irregular tasks still have good performance. So it's meaning it's indeed uh, that time it works. I will uh, skip all those one. Here is uh, a map to show how autoencoder and the elemister between them, go here is UNET, dense net. Go here is a recurrent network. Directly go to degenerate is this uh, Auto association. That is uh, earlier and later. Later, you will find recently for speech and for they all have this shortcut. They will actually have similar as architecture as this Elemister. Recently, I have uh, summarized all those things together and give something new and something new understanding. If interesting people may ask this paper. Have detail. Now, next one, we go to see. This is try to just uh, build. I have a C pattern, then go down, then try to rebuild this pattern. Then I have my brain have uh, perception, understanding. But now, if we go to mapping differently, this is uh, you do the earlier one, but you mapping into different pattern. It's meaning mapping from one special pattern go to different pattern. It's meaning you go to this one, you go not only same as the rebuild, but also different one. If you do this way, then you actually build up the association between two different specific images or patterns. Many kind of variation extension of this have recently come out. I think everybody now this becomes so hot, you change the face. Also, people, you can, you can change because this build mapping. One thing build mapping other, then you change the face. Like this, this uh, I think recently, American law, California, uh, don't allow this already. This is dangerous to human. Because we see, when we see image, video, we trust it's true. But now you cannot trust the animal. Then what's wrong if you have a criminal or those things? I think it's a big problem. That time we continue, build this to put this into probability version, then go to same like the Jeffrey Hinton time. Go to, it's not a variation on any, it's called a two part of this direction part, this direction part, try to harmony, matching. Uh, and also in list complexity matching, matching. Then this one, I call the Bayes Yin Yang Harmony Learning. This is in the NIPS 95, also included in the MIT Brain Theory and the Neural Network Handbook, Arabic make that. That time, if uh, interesting, people can go to detail, I will quick go through. Basically, this is the framework. Uh, cover variation learning, Bayes learning, many current learning as a special case. Also have its own new generation case. It's a new general theory about this. Then I go to the final one, go to that earlier one, cognition. Uh, this kind of image thinking. Then we go to the last one, how symbolic and uh, this uh, combine. This is really bad directional. I is thinking like this way is like, if you think most generally in mathematics, we reasoning actually is some kind of relation between relation, we found some of relation have built some tense or stress, have some of, you can use some energy function or probability distribution to describe this. Then you start one point and then you try to relax into some kind of relaxed balance point. That is called reasoning. If you try to cut down some kind of very, not very important links, then you go to symbolic. You, you, you try to abstraction. You go to some symbolic this kind of reasoning. If you continue cut down some of not major use links, you go to so-called logical or causal reasoning. 
by the old day, old AI, because this part, not only this part, this part, or this part, if you try to mathematical computing, it's always NP hard. So you have the computational complexity comp problems. But a recent development tried to give up a possibility. Could we use this bottom up, like deep learning? Try to change, try to learn, change the configuration of this. Change this kind of uh, starting point or something like that. So it's meaning learning, we try to use learning, use uh, cognition, help reasoning. We try, we, we reasoning when we see something. All day we close eye try to reasoning. Close eye reasoning is very difficult. But if you can recognize something, then you do reasoning. It's helpful. Actually, AlphaGo, uh, I, I will mention this later. AlphaGo is like this way. Everybody think AlphaGo maybe because of Monte Carlo tree search, go ahead and tree search. Actually, this is not true. By the late 80s, even myself proposed some heuristic A star search can go ahead like that, but not successful. That time we cannot successful. This time, why Alpha go successful? They use this part, use this deep learning. Try to give the strategies, which direction you go better. Try to give the evaluation of future possibility. This one and this one come from directly see the board. You can have a recognition of the board. It's meaning what? It's meaning you already see the board, then you use the computer memory, have a memory the strategy, then you have the memory the past, based on past experience, the possible vision. So this is uh, called a combination of uh, Monte Carlo Chase Scott, go ahead search, and vision under this part. It's also example how this is successful. And uh, even by, now I'm uh, working on the reasoning part is, uh, everybody say deep learning is a black box. The reason is, uh, like data mining, we just have the association, two point association. This two have association, but uh, this association may be wrong. You have uh, both common factors. Then it's meaning causal effect is not two between two variables. It's between two variables and the environment. You need a good example to describe the environment. I think everybody knows this example. If you have a wrong, then you will have, for example, if you just a man, woman put together, you will find one conclusion by this correlation. But you separate a man and a separate woman, you have another this kind of uh, conclusion. So that's meaning what? You need to try to go to abstraction to study, try to cut down those wrong association, try to find those causal association. Uh, this one, maybe everybody know him, Judy Per. He got a Turing Award in the 91-1 on this kind of causal, this kind of reasoning. Uh, fortunately, I also, in the 1987, I have started, he studied that time the causal model on binary reasoning. Then I have a cooperation with him to push this binary causal reasoning, causal discovery, go to a continuous variable. Now we continue this, go to, Basically, this is a causal inference way. Each have developed already 100 years, two road, two road. We recently tried to, from the, also from my point of view, try to configuration energy, physics point of view. Why we have a causal relation? Why Newton found this apple down, this balance lost? We found some causal relation. The reason is we have some kind of a potential change, balance lost. If we try to study balance, 
And also study the configuration of the graphs. It's a network graph try to constrain together. Then we have a new theory. Recently, we got some kind of, uh, in the data side, best uh, this kind of uh, test. Uh, I think at time, I will quickly go, uh, go put all the together. I will not go to detail. Just uh, I should mention the knowledge graph put here under uh, like the reasoning part here. Like uh, this uh, alpha go or those part here. Uh, under this uh, perception part here, you can put it together, have a, a general formulation framework about this bi-directional learning. Also interesting is this five one, you will find the two re related uh, reality, this triangle, and the one related insight, this three point is a key point. For example, recently we changed how to use your obtained data, go to so-called feature enrichment approach in this part. We get some kind of, uh, in the very successful in the, some kind of heartbeat classification. It's the performance can increase 15%. And uh, also use this, we can, like this, we change. We can try to use a new approach for traveling salesman programs. And also you can think like uh, this AlphaGo in this part, try to combine, mixture expert, combine this kind of decision. Then you can have uh, even use just the one of two GPU, then you run seems like AlphaGo things. Of, of, of course AlphaGo is running high, we cannot beat them, but I can try to comparable already. Also, just as you mentioned in the version, Washington, if you put all this together, he have four. For this, he have no this one, this uh, Washington. If you put on the verification case, I think we'll have some new development. This one, just like a GAN. GAN is really put here, like uh, have something like here. Thank you.